Hi guys, welcome back to Serious About Salvage. And today is the day I've been putting off for about a week. I'm going to do the dashboard in the Peugeot 208. Another Peugeot 208 dashboard. Whew. Oh well, it's got to be done. I've been putting it off, I'm putting it off, I'm putting it off. And I want this car out now, so I've literally got everything for this car. I'm gonna, I'll show you, I'll show you all the bits. We've got everything for this car pretty much. It's just a case of um, putting the time into it and getting it done and getting it out of here. Still a bit of time yet until the lad is um, 17. But it needs to be finished, doesn't it? It needs to go. I've got another car I want to put here. I don't know if I'll have showed you it by then. I don't know what order I'll bring these videos out on, but if you've been watching me on Instagram, you'll have seen it. So check out Instagram, have a look, see what car I've just got. Anyway, let's let's dive into this car. I'll show you the bits that we've got for it. But yeah, today is dashboard day, so we're gonna get on with that. So first up, a complete dashboard. And yet again, Mr. Uh, Scrapyard has been snipping cables. Weirdly, they left literally every. I think the only one this snips is that, which now means all the looms got to come out because of that. So they left it all here. Strangely, as well, they left all the airbox in this one. So I'm going to have to remove all that first. But anyway, that's the dashboard. That's today's job. I want to do the dashboards. A little bit of the dashboards. Dashboard, steering wheel airbag and seat belts today. Get the inside finished. But we have got our new bumper. Brand new bumper for this one. Brand new, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. The piece at the top. That extends into each side of the bumper. Whatever that's called, I've got a brand new one. We know the grills are okay. I've got a wing gear. I need painting. The only thing, there's only one item I need for this car, and that is the bracket that goes from here onto the wing. You can't see it on this side because the headlight's on. Well, can you? This bracket here. I need that, uh, so it'll be a few days, but I need to paint the wing and the bumper yet. We've got headlight as well. Headlight is in the boots. Headlight's there, splash guard. So yeah, all I need is that bracket, and like I said, just put the time into it and it'll be done. They can go. You can go down to this lad's house and wait for him to turn 17. Then he can start doing these lessons in it with his dad and stuff. And it'll be a great first time car. First per first time car. Yeah, new window in it. I think I've showed you that before now. Yeah. So that's the Peugeot. Now they've got the Polo. Got a, uh, a replacement boot lid for it for a couple of reasons. Ours has got a couple of little marks on the spoiler there where they've, they've gone to swipe the glass and just caught that. So I need to replace it anyway. The glass itself is over £200 if you want to replace them. And mine does have a little bit of a scratch here and a little dint down here. Now this is immaculate boot lid. So um, I thought £280 that. I need to swap the Polo badge for a GTI badge. Other than that, it's exactly the same boot lid. Window man's coming today to do the front window and to drop off all the side glass for it. And I'm going to do them in another video. So that'll be moving on then. We've got headlight ordered, supposed to have been here five days ago, but I spoke to them this morning, they're going to post it today. I've got a wing. I've got a wing over here. Got a wing. I've got a wing there, perfect condition wing. 
got the R-Line badge on it, but the wing's exactly the same as GTI. It's just the badge you need to change. So we'll change that badge because I've got the badge on my old wing over there, sat in my little river. So that's it. Let's crack on with this uh, with this dashboard. I'm not going to put it on time lapse. You've seen me do it once. Once it's done, once you've seen one, they're all the same. So I'll show you. I'll I'll just cheat. I'll I'll keep jumping in, um, draw out odd bits, and just show you updates. Other than that, you ain't gonna see much work. Right, I'm gonna crack on with it. Time's ticking. I think it's getting on for dinner time already, so I've only got five, six hours to do this. Let's crack on. Just before we do start, make sure you take the battery leads off when messing oh, when messing with airbags. I get questioned on this many a times. People call my bluff and think I don't do it, just like they don't think I use a torque wrench. But hey, I can't show everything on video. Disconnect batteries. Right, got it out. So that's taken an hour and a half to remove it this time. <clears throat> so it's half the time last time. <coughs> Excuse me. It, once you've done one, they're actually not that bad, these, to be fair. I know it looks really bad, but it ain't all that difficult, really. So I'm going to get on with the new one now, put that in. Not new one replacement, should I say. Get that in there. Button it all up and we can do the seat belts. And window man's just been. He's removed the old one whilst he was here, but the new one, unfortunately, they've sent the wrong one. So they uh, he's going to come back and put that in soon. As soon as it turns up, got a bit of glass to clean up. But all our um, replacement side windows are here. So I can get all them in. So yeah, we'll uh, have a watertight car soon, but I think at least whilst I'm waiting for the new screen again, it gives me a chance to um, clean up all this, doesn't it? So it's going to be easier whilst the uh, new, not, new window's not in, shall we say. So I'll uh, I'll make sure I do that before, before they come back. Yeah, right, let's crack on and get this uh this dash this replacement dashboard in all right guys so we got it in it's all fist and in tight everything's plugged in everything's wired up connected excuse me the only thing i haven't done is i haven't put the center console back in and that's because the airbag module's there and i need to see if my computer will will um clear the data on it because on the other one I actually changed the module completely. On this one I didn't get a module with the airbag kit. So I need to have that reset. And if I can't do it I need to remove it and send it off. So I'm going to leave the centre console out. It's literally you know, three fixings, it's so easy to put in. And what we'll do now is we'll get on with the um, seat belts and do the seat belts. Get them two swapped out, they were pretty easy I think remembering from last time. So we're pretty much done with the inside then. But yeah, in total, I'd had that old dashboard out, the new one in, in three hours. So, I think that's pretty much half the time it took me last time. So yeah, a lot better. I don't really want to do another one, I'll be honest, but... Uh, it's not that bad of a job, really, once you've done one. So I'll crack on with the seatbelts and I'll show you them when they're done. Well, I'll show you quickly now. See that? There's obviously someone in the front of this, and passenger seat. Other side, same. I'll get them swapped, I'll show you the new ones when they're, play when they're in place. Okay, so we have two working seat belts. Can I reach it? Okay. We have two working seat belts. We have a replacement dashboard in place. So, yeah, can't put that centre console in. Need to see if I can wipe that module first and my scanner's at home, so... Uh, or is it? What have I done with it? Where did I have it last? It's at home, definitely, yeah. Anyway, 
can try that out in another video coming up. But that's that that's that difficult job done with. I've been dreading it so it's done with now and we can move on to the front end. So in the next video on this car I'm going to be painting the bonnet. Not the bonnet. The bumper and the wing. And then it's just going to be a case of putting back together the front end. So I might just do that all in one video. Paint bumper wing and reassemble it all. And uh, call it a day with this car. Mm. And then we can get onto the fun stuff. Polo and the new car that I've got. Mm. So yeah, there'll be a video coming up soon now. We'll get all the side windows in and we'll get the boot lid on and we'll get this wing on as well this wing in headlight in I just need the tail lights and the bumper now really and that'll be done as well so yeah cracking on cracking on with things right guys all done for today um, as always thank you very much for watching these videos it is very much appreciated and as always if you can give it a big thumbs up always helps and um, yeah that's it I'll see you in the next one cheers